Um, when we're using conjugates, that's usually in this case when we want to rationalize uh, rationalize the denominator. And what that means is uh, when I ran, want to rationalize the denominator, let's say I have like root 3 over, or 3 over root 2, what it means is that I want to get rid of uh, this part right here. And not so much get rid of, but I want to make sure that I don't have a radical sign in the denominator. Um, and mainly because it's kind of a, a vocabulary rule in math. Just like you put a period at the end of a sentence in math, you always want to make sure that you don't have a radical sign in, in your denominator. Okay, so from here, let's look at two examples where we're rationalizing the denominator. Um, in the first case, let's, um, well, let's just do a simple one. Let's say we've got 5 over the square root of 7. Um, the way that I'm going to undo this is I'm going to just multiply the denominator by the square root of 7. And I know that if I multiply a root by a root and it ends up working out, then I can just I can have the answer to that square root. The problem is, is I just multiplied the denominator by 7, or root 7, and if I do that, that means I also have to multiply the numerator. Okay, so now I have more or less this whole function, or uh, expression, root 7 over 7, little baby, equals 1. So it's like multiplying everything by 1, so it doesn't do any, any damage. Um, and then from there, I'm just going to multiply straight across. So 5 root 7 all divided by, well, square root of 7 over square root of 7 is root 49, which equals 7. So my answer is 5 root 7 over 7. Okay, that's a simple rationalizing of the denominator, and it's using, using a conjugate. Now, uh, it turns out that these can also get a little bit more complicated, and so maybe we'll see something to the effect of 5 over 2 minus root 3. And uh, let's say I'm going to go with my gut reaction what, with what I learned up, up above, and I'm going to say times negative root 3 and times negative root 3. And so this whole thing is equal to 1, right? So it should be okay. Um, but when I multiply everything out, I end up with negative 5 root 3 divided by, and then I'm going to have to use distribution to multiply these two things together. So I'll end up with 2 times negative root 3, so negative 2 root 3, and then negative root 3 times negative root 3 gives me um, plus 3. And I didn't do any good. I mean, I'm still stuck with this silly radical in the denominator, and I can't get rid of it. Um, okay, well, what we could do, though, I'm going to hit Control z a whole bunch of times and back up, and just do a quick rewind. What we could do is we could figure out a way so that we can get rid of, um, we can get rid of that denominator with a radical sign in it. And it turns out that when I'm rationalizing the denominator, one thing that'll work really well. Let's go back to black. Is I'm going to use what's called the conjugate, and what that is is times two plus root three. And the only thing I changed is this sign right here. And then upstairs, I'm going to do 2 plus root 3 as well. And so now, this whole thing, I'm going to say little baby equals 1, right? So nothing's changed there. And now, uh, when I make a distribution, I'm going to do 5 times 2, I get 10, and then plus 5 root 3. So far, so good. Um, and then in the denominator, well, I'm going to have to use the box method that I've talked about in the past, and I really like it for staying organized. So here's my quick box that is not nearly as perfect as the one I drew earlier, but it'll do the trick. Uh, and I'm going to do 2 and then minus root 3, and 2 and plus root 3. Okay, so I'm going to do 2 times 2, there's 4. 2 times negative root 3 is negative 2 root 3. And then 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3. And then 3 times negative root 3, well, that just gives me negative 3. Okay? And then when I start adding up stuff together, I'm going to have 4 minus 3, so that equals 1. I just did these two parts. And then 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3, well, that equals 0. So 
it's just, uh, you know, 1 plus 0 equals 1, which is exactly what we want to see. There's a 1 now, and, um, and now all of a sudden I don't have any radical signs in the denominator, and I could just rewrite this as 10 plus 5 root 3. Now this turned out really neat right here. It doesn't always turn into a 1, but you can be sure as death and taxes, when you multiply these two conjugates together, you will definitely get rid of the radical sign, which is the ultimate goal.